this obviously comes at a time when some of its rival competitors are returning capital. So what does this say about its strategy and where it thinks uh, we are in the cycle? Uh, well, it actually is, uh, Exodus Point, as you said, raised more money than any launch ever last year, $8 billion. And I think the idea is that even though they haven't even put all that money to work, that if people want to give them money, they're going to take it. So uh, they're going to try and raise another $2 billion starting sometime next year. So these two, Michael Gelband and Hyung Lee, even though they haven't deployed the $8 billion they've already picked up, they want to deploy $2 billion more at some point. What's the strategy that they're proposing to use? Well, they have a multi-manager, multi-strategy platform, and those platforms can manage a lot of money. So what they've been trying to do is racing to hire people. They've hired uh, 400 people in the past year, uh, and, they're try and they already have 60 teams now. Uh, so they just need to hire, hire, hire as many people as possible to deploy that capital. That's why they haven't been able to put it all to work. And I mean, obviously, they're going to market here. Um, do we know kind of what they're targeting for this raise, as you say, on top of what had been a record amount uh, not too long ago? Uh, yes, at least $2 billion they're going to try and raise. I mean, 400 And so, uh, Sorry, obviously, Vani. as you say, Kathy, Sorry, Vani, I'm just curious to know whether there's any kind of market buzz about them raising that additional amount, having not deployed some of the capital they already are sitting on. That's going to be very interesting because their uh, returns have lagged some of their peers, but also most of their peers are close to investment. So it's, it's going to be hard to tell whether they end up getting that extra money or not. Now, the hedge fund has been deploying capital throughout the year, apparently has about 85% allocated right now. Do we know where and, and what are the successful strategies being employed by its managers? I mean, 400 employees is a huge amount for It's a lot, yes. But as I said, they, there are multiple teams, and so each team has, I don't know, four or five people working on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, mostly they've been in fixed income, which is why their uh, returns haven't been as strong. They're working rapidly to build out their equity teams, and that's where a lot of the performance has been this year. So uh, that's why they've lagged a little bit.